Well, hi, folks. This is Andy, Carla, and Tim. It's the Three Amigos again. We're back in Al Ness. We're going to go see what God wants to do. So come along on the journey, and let's see what unfolds as we walk into every good work that God has for us. So what we do is we do like short documentaries and we ask people a question. So shall I ask you the question? Okay. Do you have any old sickness, injuries or pain in your body? Okay. So we don't want you to, but if people do, this is what happens. This is here. All right, so she couldn't move her neck. He broke his wrist and when it healed, it wouldn't move. Watch. Yeah. She had a frozen shoulder. Sorry, what's your name? I'm Tina. I'm Andy. That's my wife, Carla, my friend, Tim. So, Tina, what do you think that is? Okay. Well, it's healing, right? But it's actually from the power of the Holy Spirit. So it's not Reiki. It's not any of that stuff. It's, it's really what... It, it's just simply the gospel. You know, Jesus said, God into the world, lay hands on the sick, heal them, Cast out the demons. Show them that I show people that I care about them, that I love them. Don't just like sit in a church building and wait for them to come to you. You know. And so, six years ago. See that because my grandma passed away recently. Yeah. Um, obviously, we, she she was a big Christian church going. Yeah, and yeah. And obviously went to a church. Oh, hi. I really connected with the minister that was there. Like, where where did she go to church? Um, well, it was down in Glasgow. Oh, in Glasgow. Glasgow. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I really yeah. connected with the women down there. So you believe in God, then yeah. I take it, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We've had a, we've had a lot of family yeah. disasters and stuff yeah. like that. that kinda, you know, but that's life. Like, yeah, but that, yeah, it's life. But that's so. life. You see, we. I'm, I'm on the border. Yeah. I mean, we lost a child who died. Something else out there. You know. Yeah. But but here's the thing, these disasters in, usually involve people dying, right? But here's yeah. the thing, Tina, you're going to die one day. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. When, you see, that that is a given. Every one of us. There's well, not that's what my grandma says, what's yeah. for you, we'll go past yeah. you. If it's for yeah. you, then it's going to happen. We're so. all going to die. When we die, doesn't actually matter. What matters is, are you ready? Yeah. You see, your body's like that car. It's just taking you, Tina, where you want to go. Yeah. And your body will grow old and will wear out. Yeah. And then when you die, you're going to go back to God. And well, and, so. and, and grandma's up there waiting for well, me. Well, here's, here's the thing, Tina. <laughs> I'm watching over me. Are you a good person? Yeah, I'd like to hope so, yeah. Cool. Can I test you? Hi, if you want. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm not judging you because I've, I've done this myself. How many lies have you told in your life, Tina? Oh, that's an endless amount of lies. Okay. Have you ever stolen anything? No. Remember you say, said you lied? Yeah, I did lie, but I've never stolen anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Have you I've, ever? I've got that. As I say, a lot of my lives have been good lives. Uh, I was okay. a hater for okay. 15 years. Yeah, and yeah. Worked with a lot of okay. dementia people. Yeah, yeah. I get so it. But but a lie is a lie. I'll, Come on. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it is. But sometimes yeah. it's for the. the yeah. The yeah. Old That's right. I understand else. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's another one. You ever lost? Have you ever looked at uh, at a person and had lustful thoughts in your mind towards them? No. Never. No. no, because because you're the one person in the world who's never done that. Okay, right, well, I can't say the same, neither can she, right? Here's the other thing. It's all young kids, young kids. Have, have, have you ever hated anyone? Yes. Okay. But it's not nice, but yes, I Yeah, have. that's true. Now, here's the thing. We think we're good. What we really say is, compared to a murderer, I'm a good person. Compared to somebody who's mugging a granny in an alleyway and stealing her pension, I'm a good person. Compared to somebody who's, <laughs> who's, who's maybe abusing other people, I'm a good person. But that's comparison. So when I ask you, are you good? In your mind, you're going, well, compared to da-da-da, yeah, I'm a good person. But none of us are good. Because those, those standards are, are just five of the ten commandments that I went through with you, of which you've broken some. Yeah. Right? So if we break one, we break them all, is what the Bible says. So according to your own confession, you're a lying, okay, murderer. Because Jesus said if you hate somebody in your heart, you commit well, murder in your heart. Well, yeah. So you've broken his commands, Tina, right? And the thing is, when you face God, you, will you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Right. And you would, go to, you would do the time. You would have the sentence. The sentence is a lost eternity in hell. Jesus paid the fine. He paid the penalty so that you don't have to do the time. Okay? 
Now, have you ever accepted him paying the penalty for you? No, no. okay. Do you want to? So that you know that you're... Okay, yes. this, is all, this is all you need to do. Say this with me if you want that, Tina. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I accept the price you paid for me. I accept the price you paid for me. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. And I want, to, I want you to live inside of me. And I want you to live inside of me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From this day forward, From this day forward I, choose to live for you I choose to live for you. And ask you to be the Lord of my life. Help me to live the way you want me to. That is not only a blessing to me, but everybody that I know. As they see your change in my life. Do you mean actually, that? Yeah, I do actually. Okay, can I bless you? Because I really wanted to like actually yeah. like go to church and stuff after right. my grandpa passed, and I just didn't yeah. know how to kind of. Like There's a Baptist church down here that you yeah, can go so to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Th I know a lot of the people who go there are friends of ours. We don't live here, but yeah. yeah. No, can we bless you, Tina? Yeah, bless. Yeah. Lord, I bless Tina. I thank you for this woman. I thank you that you love her, that you care for her, and that you are showing her how much you care for her. Would you fill her with peace? Would you fill her with joy and fill her with? every good thing that you have for her life. Would you help her and give her strength, Lord, for the days ahead that all of us have to face, yes. that are uncertain, but you are faithful and true and you're not uncertain. So I bless you, Tina, Thank to you. know him deeper than you would ever know him before and to walk in the fullness of life that he has for you. Thank you. And see every sin you've ever committed. He, he keeps no record of wrong of them. Your next step is, is to be baptized, and when you get baptized, you will rise a new creation in Christ, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. If Tina, if you want that, if you want that, you give us a phone, and we will come, and we'll arrange that. Okay, it is there, yeah, yeah. Oh, bless you. I know, I know. Lovely to meet you, Tina. God bless, bye. So that was Tina, who, when we were sharing the gospel with her, her boyfriend was on the phone and he was trying to get her to leave, but she really wanted to, to, to hear the gospel. She said, he doesn't believe in this stuff, but I do. And her granny died six months ago and God's been calling her and she realizes that life is fragile. So she responded to the gospel and she gave her life to Christ. You see, we just never know. We just never know who's ready. We've got to go and sow the gospel and God touches a person's heart. So she's begun her journey. And we've given her our details and we hope to hear from her again and then go and baptize her. So she was like, well, I approached you guys. I'm interested. I'm not going to leave when my boyfriend asked me to leave. And that's when you know that God has put you there and you've walked into one of his good works. Amen. Bless you.